welcome back to my channel. I look a little crazy right now and that is strictly because I just got off work, my new job, so I'm really happy about that. And I look super tired because I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. So this makeup has been on since about six o'clock in the morning. But currently I'm on my way to Buffalo Wild Wings with my best friend to go and try some of their new flavors and I'm about to head out and drive so I'm gonna back out of the parking garage I'm in and then I will start recording again for you guys. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so I never hit curbs and I literally just hit a curb coming out of the parking garage. So that's fun. This video is gonna be a pretty chill video. I know I've been doing that a lot lately, I'm sorry, but um, I've had a lot going on with my new job and everything and transitioning over to a corporate full-time job that's not in a restaurant. Um, I, today was my second day, it's Tuesday the 13th. And sorry about the sun, I'm currently driving so the sun's just like doing whatever it wants. But I know I look a hot mess right now, but it is what it is. My hair is super flat because I've had a headset on pretty much all day. So I think I'm gonna go and get some ball like I guess volumizing spray to like make it a little bit better or just do it to like half of half down tomorrow to make it not as like flat because it's really flat right now but I'm currently on my way home or like not home but like to Buffalo Wild Wings so that's really fun I got this job because of my friend's mom um, she was hiring and it's in customer service and I'm pretty happy about it I really like it it's only been my second day but I do really like it so I'm glad I have it. The pay's really good. It just feels so much better to be out of the restaurant industry. The restaurant industry was honestly really starting to take its toll on me. And I was ending up just really just not liking it and just not wanting to go to work every single day. Sorry, I just switched hands. But I was ending up just not really wanting to go to work. And some of the employees were just being a pain. And I mean, I could have been too. I probably was. But I just, I don't know. Ooh dropped it and so yeah so pretty much I just had a breakdown after uh, quitting my last job that I made that video about um, I think it was last week and I posted on my Facebook that I was looking for a Monday through Friday job that paid at least $15 an hour um, because $15 an hour you can live on like um, decently so my job pays more than that I'm not gonna say how much because it's honestly my personal business but, and their personal business as well. So I really am enjoying it. Um, it's customer service, but it's not like a typical customer service to where I'm talking to um, people from like residential areas. I'm talking to companies that buy our product. So dealers as they call them. So I'm not talking to like, you know, Karens or anything like that that are just screaming at you on the phone like in a normal call center um, And most of the time they're calling me I'm not calling them um, Today I actually got to be with my mentor and She was showing me how to do all the calls and such so that was really fun I cannot tell the light the lights like messed up my hair. I think it's red. Yeah, it's red and So no, it's not it's green So I hate when lights are like really like faded but so, yeah, so it's not like, I was afraid it was gonna be like a typical call center, but when I started doing my training, so basically all day today, we were on a phone call. The sun is just not my friend, <laughs> sorry y'all. But we were on a meeting pretty much the whole day because we were in an office, but most of the staff works from home and then the guy who was training us lives in Canada uh, because there, there's a US base and then there's a Canada base. So he was super nice. You know, they say Canada people are super nice, Canadians. So very, very nice. Um, he was pretty much teaching my team the entire day. And there's only seven of us. Um, there's a girl my age, there's a girl three years older than me. And then there's a few people older than us, like by like 10, 15 years. Um, even like one of them's like my dad's age, he's 58. So that was really fun as well. Sorry, it's a little bit bumpy. I'm just gonna try to like hold it like this. I was balancing it on my steering wheel, but. Okay, so anyways, that was really fun as well, and um, I'm just really enjoying it. I really think it's going to be a good job for me. It's going to give me some experience in customer service, like, besides restaurants, and it's also going to give me some experience in um, corporate, which is good, especially for Southwest. That'll probably make me look better as well. But, so yeah, so I'm going to hold y'all right here. I'm going to hold y'all right here now. 
switching arms. But anyways, so I'm pretty happy about that. It was really kind of, because I'm like wearing headsets all the time, um, my hair is like really staticky and flat. So that's not fun, but I'm honestly really, really happy. And we get paid weekly, which is really nice with our hourly pay. So no more being broke, which is really nice. I'm like trying, okay, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, not that much better though. What about this angle? No much better and the good thing is also I don't know why this person is stopping y'all about to see my road rage because there was like a truck pulled over and he was like a big like worker truck and people have to slow down I'm like go sis like stop slowing down stop trying to pay attention stop looking like oh I have road rage so bad this is why I don't really film when like I'm in the car because I will end up screaming in the video and have to edit it, <laughs> edit it out so I'm still getting used to waking up early, training from 7.30 to 4.30 every day. And what's so nice about being not in a restaurant is you leave when your time is done. Like you literally, my mentor today on my call, um, she was like, what time is it? Do you get off at four or 4.30? And it was four o'clock and I was like, oh, I get off at 4.30. And like, we were having a great time. She was so nice. She was telling me everything. Uh, I was watching her take calls. Like she showed me her little screen on top. Um, on the computer system I had my headset on and it was so fun she was really in-depth we had a really good trainer the team and I the entire day our actual boss which is my friend's mom she was in her office doing her stuff the entire day so we actually didn't see her until like earlier sorry this is a really bad angle but my arm's tired so I'm gonna switch y'all again but yeah so um the trainer that lives in Canada was super nice this Hyundai is like pissing me off a little bit right now like what are you doing like you have your blinker on and you're in my lane and the blinker is for the other lane I don't understand but yeah this is just pretty much a life update and like a drive with me um to on Thursday by the way I'm probably going to change my uploading schedule because of this job since it's Monday through Friday um there might be days where I'm not really in the mood to film and I'm tired so um, I might change my um, schedule to the weekend. Right now I'm not going to, but we will see because on November 6th is my last day of training, um, unless I finish earlier, but that, that has to do with like the management in our class. So um, it's like we're a team, so we all finish at the same time. So it's pretty much up to our manager. Um, but basically, I don't know if I'm gonna do weekends because after training's done, we're working nine to six. So, um, I don't know if I'm like screaming, it's kind of loud when I'm driving, so um, you might want to turn your like speakers down if you're watching this because <laughs> I really can't tell if I'm screaming or not, so I probably am knowing me, but anyways, so yeah, um, I might do Saturday and Sundays, um, I'm just really not sure, but then if I do Saturday and Sundays, uh, Ryan will be home and I'm like still not comfortable filming in front of him, so I just, I don't know. Um, I'm supposed to be getting off at 6 when training's done, so my work schedule is 9 to 6. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I just, I feel so free. Like, I honestly feel so happy because I'm currently not working, like, nights anymore. And that is just so freeing. So a couple of people have been asking me if I'm still going to stay at my restaurant job. And currently, yes, I am, but only on Saturday and Sunday mornings. And that is strictly to just get a little bit more money. Um, I've honestly been coming to the point where I just don't want to be there. Um, I have my new beginnings. I'm really happy. There's just a lot of drama going on in that workplace. Um, so I just honestly don't really want to deal with that. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, my also pretty much all my friends got other jobs. And even Philip has another job that he worked in the morning at another sushi place. So we're kind of all just going separate ways, even though we were like all still friends, obviously, but job wise, we're all trying to move up. Um, so yeah, I don't really think I'm going to stay there much longer. I think after I'm done with my training from this job, um, I'm going to be done with that place and actually put in my two weeks notice and be done. Um, because one that well, that was one of the reasons. And two, um, I am working five days a week back to back. So I'm gonna want my weekends off. Um, yeah, so I'm sure y'all would totally understand that. So 
pretty much I'm only getting Saturday and Sunday nights off and honestly whenever I work a little rant um, lately people are always late like people and like and it's not just like one person because I know someone's gonna comment that it's not one person it's always people and there's always people that call in and like it's just become to the point where it's super frustrating and immature and I'm honestly just over it I love the people but like I'm honestly just over it like don't be late to work like it's not that hard to be early to work or like on time and like people would always like which I found this out people would gossip about like me and like someone else being early we're not early sis we're on time like we're not late I don't know what you're talking about but yeah I still love them though they're still my friends but yeah it's just I don't know people are just shady in the restaurant industry everybody talks back about everybody on my team we're all friends we're all helping each other I think that's also a my hair oh my god I think that's also a good thing about working with older people because there's literally only me um this girl named Jocelyn who's 20 and then another girl named Morgan who I become closer with who's 23 so everybody just brings each other up for the most part oh my goodness okay yes I have acne ignore it my foundation wore off because I had to keep like taking at our desk we're allowed to um have our masks off like in our cubicles and my cubicles by window so I'm like I am right now in my car with the sun shining it's pretty much what I look like throughout the day because the sun is shining on my desk uh, monitor but yeah so I'm really happy very happy oh my goodness and I cannot wait to see what this has in store for me so yeah that's just a little rant um I do love my I almost said the restaurant's name I do love my restaurant friends though I have made some good friends from there but it's just time to get out of it and like the industry I don't know I'm just I don't know it's starting to get really busy there and like all like the annoying like Karen people are starting to come out again and your girl just doesn't have patience for that anymore okay she just doesn't have patience for that anymore so that's pretty much that and I'm gonna go to Buffalo Wild Wings um I guess I'll just keep you guys on the on the phone right now because I'm like not even there yet I'm like still like 20 minutes away because I'm close to my apartment I'm only like 15 16 minutes away which is nice but from Buffalo Wild Wings, um, SL, that's like 15 minutes from my apartment. So add that on to 15, 16 minutes from my corporate job now. So I don't know, I'm just in a really happy place in my life now. I feel really blessed. I feel lots of love and light in my life. And oh, a husky. Sorry, ADHD brain. But I am just really happy and blessed. And my time has come to be happy and successful and achieve more of my goals this year honestly has been bittersweet because yeah it did suck at the beginning with the virus um i'm losing southwest but that'll all come back and the virus will go away and I, I have this great job right now and i'm meeting great people and i'm getting great experience i plan on staying there for a while so yeah i'm really happy right now and i know i don't want to be i don't want anybody to take offense to this please don't think i'm bragging or anything because just like some of y'all, I was in a really dark place and I was never satisfied with anything in my life this year. I always felt like the world was out to get me and attack me and I was just honestly a really negative person for a while and um, I would isolate myself and like I said in that story time about that job, I just didn't feel like myself and the darkness kept taking over and I just was not in a good place of mind and I was back and forth at my job like my serving job and then I was trying to get another serving job and I was freaking out trying to get all these other jobs and like I was just pushing too hard to where I just wasn't I wasn't helping myself I wasn't that wasn't supposed to be my life and it wasn't supposed to be my journey at the time so it's all about patience I know and I know some people were having a great 2020 and now their 2020 is collapsing and it's almost over y'all it's almost over and honestly just I don't know be positive sun yourself in light um, don't let darkness take over I've learned my mom always says that to me um, she always says wrap yourself in light and love um, surround yourself with good people basically what I've learned in life and especially this year if you surround yourself with negative people that really don't strive for anything that don't have a lot of goals um, 
you're going to pretty much downgrade to that um, because that's pretty much all you know when you hang around people like that and yeah so I know this video is probably gonna be pretty long but it is a little rant so and a little like vlog drive with me but yeah so that is pretty much what I've learned and I just feel so happy now and honestly I hate getting up early in the morning but I can actually do it and I just I don't know I really am happy right now um, I'm so blessed I'm so thankful um, yeah so that's pretty much that so please don't ever give up you guys just because life gets tough just because something isn't going your way just be it's pretty much like things didn't go my way um, because there was something else um, so yes I didn't get something that I wanted really badly and I was crushed like I thought it was the end of the world I thought it was nothing I thought I was a loser um, I kept putting myself down because I was comparing myself to other women that had corporate jobs and that got to keep them during the virus and were working from home and I thought I had these great lives and turns out some of them are going through hard stuff right now and um, yeah so it's just all about timing um, the universe is per like you know the universe is it's not your time from the universe you know the universe has everything planned out for you um, so you just you just gotta have faith you gotta be positive throughout the tar the dark times and don't want the darkness to take over so that's on that's enough of that little like spiritual rant i know some of y'all probably don't care about that you're probably like sarah shut up but yeah so i'm gonna stop filming while driving now and i'm going to go have some buffalo wild wings okay y'all so i filmed an outro and then I ended up not liking the outro as much. Oh my gosh, this acne. That's what periods and masks do to you. Um, it was way worse and it's starting to get better. But the sun's going down. I look rough. I apologize for my appearance in this little vlog. Um, that's pretty much what happens when you work a full-time job now and you get up at 5.30 to do your makeup and your foundation wears off. And my hair is just incredibly flat, as I've said a million times in this video. I am not having it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty insecure about it currently, so I think I'm gonna style it tomorrow. I got to go Buffalo for Ryan, um, so he could have some dinner because Brittany and I were there for quite a while because we were waiting for like 30 minutes, it seemed like, for the to-go order. Um, the server was all right. Um, it wasn't really busy in there, but he seemed overwhelmed. He might have been a new server, so I'm honestly not gonna judge. Um, but yeah, so I'm just honestly super tired and I'm gonna go home, edit this video a little bit. That glare, oh my god. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> um, I'm gonna edit this video and then I'm going to relax and go to bed by like 10 30. I'm gonna shower again. I really don't want to shower again, but this hair is just not it. Um, so, and dry shampoo is like not gonna help because it's already getting like greasy-ish. Um, my function of beauty never came. I was supposed to use function of beauty and it never came. And I didn't get a refund or anything. I think I'm gonna ask again because I never got it. And it was $60, so I kinda want a refund. Um, I'm not trying to be a Karen, but when you're poor and waiting on your paycheck, good God. Um, yeah, so this vlog is a mess. On Thursday, I'm going to be filming my got into a hit and run story time. And I'm not going to explain anything in this video because you got to wait for the story time. So yeah, I hate this angle. <laughs> this whole vlog is such a mess. The sun is literally glaring. Maybe if I like put my visor down. I have a visor. No, I didn't do anything. Nope, didn't do anything. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna end this little vlog here and I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye y'all.